housework, housework. I like housework, housework. Hello, housework. Ah! Smelly socks! Miss Tracy! What is it, Queen Carlotta? You're using your outside voice. What is my outside voice? Well, your outside voice is when you you speak loudly. You should use your inside voice. Like, instead of saying, smelly socks, you say, smelly socks. Can you try that? Use your inside voice and say, ooh, poof, and say, smelly socks. Smelly socks. That was very good. Thank you. <laughs> good job. Now, those smelly socks, poof. Actually, in today's story, we're going to read about a uh, puppy dog and smelly socks and using an inside voice. Would you like to listen to the story? Sure. Okay. Um, maybe what I'll do is, would you like to sit over here? Miss Tracy, I can't see over here. Okay, well, let's put you over here beside your husband. There we go. There. Oh, what's this? What's this, boys and girls? Yes, this is a puppy dog. Today's story is about a puppy dog named Puppy Pip. And what is this on the plate? Can you see that, boys and girls? What is it? Yes, it's a piece of cake. The puppy dog in today's story likes cake. Do you like cake? Yes. The name of today's story is I Am Using My Inside Voice, written by Rosie Greening and illustrated by Don Matchell. I am using my inside voice. Puppy Pip loved to be loud. He was loud when he played hide and seek in the park. One, two, three and he was loud in the playground. You can't catch me! Puppy Pip was very good at using his outside voice. Do you see Puppy Pip beside the slide? One morning, Daddy Dog took Puppy Pip to the library, but Puppy Pip didn't feel like looking at a book quietly. He wanted to read out loud. One, two, three, listen to me, shouted Puppy Pip. Shh, Puppy Pip, said his dad, and they hurried outside without any books. Do you think his dad is mad? After that, Mummy Dog took Puppy Pip to the shoe store. But Puppy Pip didn't want to just try on shoes. He wanted to shout about them. One, two, three, new shoes for me, shouted Puppy Pip. Shh, Puppy Pip, said his mom, and they rushed outside without any new shoes. Do you see the shoes on the shelf at the shoe store? In the afternoon, Daddy Dog went with Puppy Pip to a museum. But Puppy Pip didn't want to just look at the dinosaurs. He wanted to be one. One, two, three, I'm a T-Rex, look at me, shouted Puppy Pip. Running around. Shh, Puppy Pip said his dad. And he rushed Puppy Pip out of the museum. Do you see Puppy Pip's dad going shh? Do you see the dinosaur? Puppy Pip, said Daddy Dog. Sometimes you need to use your inside voice. What's an inside voice? shouted Puppy Pip. So his dad explained. It isn't a whisper. It isn't a shout. You use it whenever you're inside, not out. A house or a library is not like a park. So speak in a soft voice and try not to bark.
Why don't you try it out, said Daddy Dog. So Puppy Pip barked. Smelly socks! And then he woofed. Smelly socks! And finally he said, Smelly socks. Perfect, said Daddy Dog. Do you see Daddy Dog? On the way home, they dropped by to their neighbor's house to say hello. Do you see the neighbor with the glasses? Hi, Mrs. Catkins, Puppy Pip shouted when he got inside. Uh-oh. Puppy Pip, said his dad, remember to use your inside voice. Smelly socks, I mean, hi, Miss Catkin, said Puppy Pip in a perfect inside voice. Puppy Pip wagged his tail. He liked using his inside voice. Then Mrs. Catkins brought in some cake. Puppy Pip ate his slice in one big gulp. He thought the cake was yum-tastic. Could I have another piece, please? Asked Puppy Pip. Do you see the cake in his mouth? Yum-tastic. Of course, thank you for using your inside voice, said Mrs. Catkins. And she handed Puppy Pip the plate. Do you see her giving him the plate with the cake? because he used his inside voice. When Puppy Pip and Daddy Dog went home, they saw Mummy Dog and Puppy Primrose playing a game of catch in the garden. Can we play too? Puppy Pip asked his dad. Of course, smiled Daddy Dog. Do you see them playing catch with the ball? But Dad said, as long as you use your outside voice. And Puppy Pip said, Whee! Look at me! The end. Oh, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed today's story. I am using my inside voice. Come again to the Fox Den with Miss Tracy, it's time to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye in your outside voice? Goodbye! Yes. Can you say goodbye with your inside voice? Goodbye. Good job, boys and girls. Remember, I love you. I think I'll take a ball and go outside and use my outside voice. Bye-bye. Hey, anybody want to play catch?